Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. How do you technically get out of a position if it goes wrong? All right, here's the thing. There's two ways of doing this, right? There's two ways of doing it. And, and, it, and both ways, and both ways are technical. Okay. There's both ways of technical. So sometimes, especially on the day trading aspect, and it's kind of, it's kind of a good segue into what we just discussed. Sometimes there'll be a pivot in the stock. Let's just say 113 is the pivot, right? 113 is the pivot. And we all know, uh, you have to use second entries, which basically means, uh, you know, when I put a pivot in, uh, the pivot is 113, 113 needs to build, which basically means the stock needs to take out that 113 level and volume needs to build over that 113 level. That's what building means, right? The longer a stock stays above the pivot, that is called building. It's not nothing more, nothing less. So let's just say the pivot is 113, right? And it takes out 113 and puts in a new high of... 114.32, right? 114.32, and I'm actually going to cover both, you know, kind of a, a two-sided question here because somebody also uh, asked how big of a retrace do you have, do you need before it causes second entry? So we'll kind of cover both sides of that question uh, simultaneously. So let's say, let's say the stock uh, puts in a new high of 114.30. Okay, what you need to do is let the stock retrace at least, if it's a $113 stock, at least 30 to 50 cents, right? At least 30 to 50 cents. So for example, if you're trading NVIDIA, right? Um, you need to retrace at least 30 to 50 cents. If you're trading Facebook, at least 30 to 50 cents. Again, I don't care if it goes down more, a dollar, dollar and a half more, at least 30 to 50 cents, right? When you're trading Netflix, probably about a dollar just because it is a lot wider, okay? A lot wider. Uh, Roku, the same thing. Tesla, you need at least a dollar, right? You need at least a dollar retrace. Amazon, you need at least three to five dollar retrace because it's, you know, it's a $3,000 stock. So you get that retrace. And once you get, once it retraces and goes back to that new high of 114.30, that is the second entry, right? That is the second entry. So what do we know about second entries? <clears throat> the second entry, the stock needs to explode. Once the stock takes out that new high, the second entry, and you get in, that stock needs to absolutely explode and price appreciate within the next 30, 45 seconds or you know it's stalled out again, right? You just know it's stalled out. So the prudent thing to do, and I've, I've, I've always advised uh, newer traders this, especially newer traders who are uh, fresh to pivots. What I do advise is that if the stock stalls out at the new second entry at 114.30, and you just don't see it going in the first 30 to 45 seconds, get out of the trade. Just get out of the trade, right? Just absolutely get out of the trade. That is basically telling you the stock is not ready yet, okay? It could go later, but the stock is not ready yet. So if it doesn't price improve on the second entry in the next 30 to 45 seconds, maybe a minute, depending on what, which one it is, you know what? You say, you know what? Let me be an adult about it, right? Something's wrong there. It's gassed out a little bit. Maybe it needs a little bit better rest, okay? And I could always enter it later, or I could enter it, on a 60 minute dip, right guys? If you guys noticed, we're getting tons of value on 60 minute, rising 60 minute support. Like that's value, man. If, if, the, if the uptrend is still intact, it's gonna bounce off that 60 minute support. And we've seen time and time again, how advantageous uh, those entries are. So what you wanna do is have two courses of action. If the stock doesn't go right away, and these are both ways to uh, kind of, uh, you know, measure risk. If the stock doesn't go within the first 30 seconds to a minute after your second entry, use break even as you stop or slippage up a little bit, down a little bit. It's the cost of doing business, right? Or if you want to give it a little bit more rope and you just feel, hey, the stock is very strong. It has confirmed that the daily chart, the stock looks really good. 
I'm really loving the option flow that I'm seeing for the last hour or so. What you could also do is use the previous five minute risk, right? Previous five minute candle low. So if it takes out the previous candle low, then you say to yourself, well, that's my max pain. You know what? It's broken its trend. It's not just tired here at the macro, right? It's not just tired here at the macro. It's just tired, right? Maybe it goes later. Maybe I'll have a better entry off the rising 60 minute support. Or you know what? Tomorrow's a new day uh, with that stock. But again, you're in control. That's the, guys, that's the common denominator. You're in control. So you're either making, um, you're, you're, you're making a feasibility study at that point. You know what? Let me get out of this thing, especially if you're a newer trader, right? You, you, you're trying to preserve as much capital as possible. It extends your shelf life. So you're saying to yourself, you know what? Dan says the stock is a little bit tired. And again, I'm, it's not like it's a, you know, it's not like it's a mystery. You know, we're, you know, I'm commenting on the stock. You guys hear me say, hey, ah, something's wrong. Hey, the stock is stalling out. Consider using break even. That's not mixed signals. That means the stock is stalling out. Consider using break even. So you could either use break even or slippage, right? Slippage. Um, slippage on, on, on the entry, or if you are a more experienced trader, you've been doing this for a very long time, some of you guys have been with me for 11 years, um, you could say to myself, you know what, let me use the five minute previous candles low, give myself a little bit of a shorter leash, but you know what, I still kind of love the idea, let me stay in it. Or if you're a really, really experienced trader, you can always use the previous 60 minute low, and that's gonna really give you a dynamic view of the overall trend uh, of the stock. So um, I think I, I think that the most important part of that first aspect is recognize that a, a, a recognize that um, the stock is just tired, right? Just stock is tired. Maybe it's it's put in majority of its average true range, right? Maybe stocks are just tired. Remember, it's like a human being, right? Think, think about it. It's like you, you just ran a marathon, 26 miles. You feel good about yourself, right? That's the stock. The stock broke out. You feel good about yourself. And then you realize, well, wait a minute. It's not a marathon, right? It's a triathlon. Now I have to run for five miles, right? Excuse me. I have to swim for five miles and I have to cycle for another 10 miles. You're going to be tired. You achieved what you want, right? You got to that level but you're going to be tired. Stocks are exactly the same way. They do get tired, right? They do get tired, they need a rest, and they either resume a little bit later that day uh, or they resume at some point during the week, but at least you have options. And again, the controlled theme is you're still in control. And that's a very, uh, very important uh, level here.